what is going on youtube family it is your girl ray back to you guys with another video per usual always come on here saying it's been such a long time we know this it's been a minute recently i made a lot of changes within the past couple of weeks so things will be a lot better and i will be able to focus my attention solely on instagram the way i've been wanting to for years and i cannot wait and i'm super excited about it let's just go ahead and just jump into the video because you guys came here for this reason and this reason alone and it's the five mistakes that i made throughout my bulk if you guys don't know by now i went on a bulk maybe around like july of last year and i just started to go on a cut as of february 1st so i have my notes here on my phone just so i can hit every single thing that i want to hit in this video the first mistake i made is i went in with no plan i had no plan and I'm actually quite embarrassed to say that as a trainer, I went into a bulk with zero plan. I didn't have a plan on what I was going to do when I got into the gym as far as my workout routine. I didn't have a plan on what I was going to eat, when I was going to eat, how I was going to eat. Um, and I also did not have a plan on how I would be able to organize my life. It was just no structure at all whatsoever. And I made that biggest mistake. My bulk started off being a healthy bulk and then it ended up being a dirty bulk. If you don't know what a dirty bulk is, it's pretty much when a person just eats any and everything without restrictions, fried food, fast food, whatever. It didn't intend to be that way, but it ended up being that way because, again, I went in with no plan. And it felt good for a while to kind of just like let go and say, hey, I'm going to be building muscle, which I did build muscle. But it felt good to go in and say, I'm going to be building muscle this time around. I don't have to worry about being structured about my food and being structured about what I'm putting into my body. I could just do whatever I want to do. And that was the worst decision I've ever made. So not only did I put on 12 pounds of muscle, which I'm very proud of, I also put on 20 pounds of just fat and just body weight. And I'm not happy about that. I'm not proud of that. So I'm actually sitting at 210 right now and I have never been in the 200s in the last maybe three years which is not a problem i feel like 200 is not something to be afraid about or afraid of but it's something that my body and myself i'm just not used to being this big i wasn't feeling the second thing that i made a mistake of i stopped doing cardio completely stopped doing cardio if i did do cardio it was probably maybe five or ten minutes and that was it and it was steady state cardio which was very low impact very just like walking on the treadmill no incline and it sucks now that i'm now trying to lean out and i have to get back into cardio because i hadn't done cardio for almost five or six months consistently at all but now that i'm trying to lean out cardio is the worst thing like it's worse than worse like people hate cardio because i hate cardio also but when I tell you that I cannot stand it now after my bulk, I cannot stand it now after my bulk. And so knowing that I have to go back from not doing cardio to doing cardio now, the worst feeling ever. So I would advise you to not, st <laughs> do not stop doing cardio. Still do at least 10 to 15 minutes of cardio, maybe even 20 minutes of cardio. Keeping all of those muscles working because it's very important, but I just, it wasn't i'm struggling now the third mistake that i made was not getting enough sleep being as though i was on a bulk and building more muscle and putting my body through intense heavy lifting um i did not get enough sleep my sleep was probably around like maybe five maybe six hours of sleep and for some people they can say that's enough sleep not for me it wasn't enough sleep so i put my body in a very stressed state which also caused me to eat more because I was depressed, I was stressed out, and I didn't recognize it until later. The reason why I was stressed out, the reason why I was overeating is because I wasn't sleeping enough. So that is another thing that I made a mistake on, was not getting enough rest. So on to number four, the fourth thing that I made a mistake on was not drinking enough water. I did, my water was almost little to none. And if you don't know, not having enough water into your body could cause you to bloat and not only bloating that it causes it could also cause you to feel like you're hungry when in all reality you're not hungry you're just very dehydrated so that also again turned into me eating so much and eating 
dirty because I was super dehydrated and didn't really recognize it until later. Now that I'm drinking more water, et cetera, et cetera. You guys get it. So drink your water throughout your bulk. It is very important. And last but not least, the fifth thing that I made a mistake on was I forgot my mission. I forgot while I was doing a bulk, I thought that I was depressed. I thought that I was just gaining weight just because I was gaining weight. I was depressed because I didn't go in with a plan. I got depressed by seeing my body get bigger, got depressed by seeing the scale go up. I forgot what the mission was and I had to really just bring myself down and remember, you're on a bulk, your body is changing in a way that you just didn't recognize that it would change and you're doing this for a reason that's just to put on more muscle. Um, again, I made all those mistakes, but because I made so many mistakes, I became depressed and which caused me again to use food as a crutch. I typically use food as a self-soothe, which is something I've been working on for years, but I realized that I've been using it all too much to help me when in all reality it didn't help me, it hindered me based off of the types of food I was eating. So. Going back to number one, make sure you still eat clean. Make sure you eat in a caloric surplus, not in a deficit because surplus is what's gonna help you to put on that muscle. Make sure you can get enough sleep. Make sure you are drinking your water, making sure that you are remembering your mission and why you started. And also make sure that you're going in with a plan. So remember to do all those five things the next time you decide you wanna go on a bulk. And I'll be back for some more tips and tricks that helped me going on my cut. Um, until then, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure that you guys let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments below if you guys wanna see any other videos from me and what type of content you guys are looking for, especially since I'm trying to get into YouTube again. So thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.